my stars! I've been buried alive! Where am I? What's going? Oh yes! Haha! <laughs> Touch Weasel! Ending at the beginning, beginning at the end. Um, well, uh, season finale is always do bring the house down there, don't they, Anto? Don't think you're getting out of the review that easily. Come on! Stay on Goosey Stumps! Perhaps I might provide some assistance. Here, haven't I killed you already? You cannot kill that which does not live. Oh, well, it's funny you should mention that, because uh, we had a damn good go at killing Owen off with Cardiff's handy dandy nuclear reactor this week. Ah, at last, I have reclaimed him to my kingdom! I told you once before, push off, Skullface! <laughs> oh, thanks, Yanto. I never thought he'd leave. Anyway, Exit Wounds pretty much did as promised, leaving one character with exactly that, and another battery in nuclear death gas. Hardly uh, much to make fun of, then. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, Captain John's choice of cheesy disco pop and calling you eye candy all the time really made me chuckle. Hmm. I noticed being buried in the ground for two millennia didn't help you with your weight loss program, Jack. Yes, and uh, funny that while Cardiff was built above and sewers below, no one managed to dig me up in the meantime. Not even Tony Robinson and those stripy jumper-wearing long-haired weirdos he hangs out with. Thankfully. Well, anyway, overall, this was a pretty good season finale. Much better than last year's giant stompy monster they destroyed with love. I don't think that's quite... Honestly, I thought I was watching Flipping Krull. Um, Captain, we're supposed to be focusing on this year's finale. Sorry, last year's was just so stunkingly awful that no matter how I've tried, I just can't forget it. Perhaps a cup of tea and one of Nanny Yanto's special biscuits would help. Ah, oh, yes, 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 that's much better. Now, the villain of the piece turned out not to be Spike off a Buffy, but in fact, Jack's long-lost brother Grey. It's a good name for him. Wasn't he a boring little wimp? Ah, oh, too true. I mean, anyone killed off by that waste of skin would probably die of shame long before any wound topped them. Ah, oh, and speaking of which... And I, I'm not quite sure how to say this, viewers. Yanto, the final Toshometer reading, please. <laughs> this week, Tosh didn't do very much, so we read this episode as not at all Tosh. Groblox, Yanto, fix that thing right now. Yes, Captain. Sadly, as we hear a Torchweedle predicted some weeks ago, Torch finally bit the dust this season after Gwen rather foolishly injected her with a second dose of painkiller, proving once and for all that Welsh woman's a flipping liability. Tosh killer, I name her! Focus on Tosh, Yanto! Oh, gravy and biscuits. Uh, can't we just have a moment's respectful silence for a woman so clever she even left a farewell message behind? Oh, really, Captain? You know, it does make me think, though. What kind of messages might the rest of the team have left behind? If you're watching this, then I'm dead. Again. Tell Jack he can keep his flipping gloves to himself this time. Hello, Jack. If you're watching this, I guess I must be dead. Um, could you cancel the papers and uh, my standing order for Tea Lovers Monthly with Mrs. Pew down the paper shop? Ta, love. Oh, gorgeous. If you're watching this, then I'm dead. Again. Oh, well, uh, life goes on and 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 on. We'd play you Gwen's, but since she sobbed and shouted and sobbed and shouted, sobbed and shouted, I've really not got the heart. But it looks like there's a couple of vacancies coming up at Torchwood for next season. Perhaps I should apply. Maybe you too, Yanto. Well, until nuclear power Owen's freed from his tomb, I mean, does anyone think he's really dead? I mean, let's face it, it's not stopped Tony Almeida appearing in 24 this season, has it? <laughs> <laughs>